All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got one more crash course going on here. This is the next one. So we've gone through all the tools and all that, and there's ways you can use the tools in the top layer. Up, uh, you know, there. Um, like select adjustment and all that. There's ways you can use that as well. We're gonna just do a quick uh, crash course for about five minutes on this. Uh, the image, you can change image size, canvas size, that means what the image is on. Right now, the photo here and the canvas size are the same. You can make that bigger and add more stuff. So the photo would appear smaller because you're making the surface area larger, but not the photo larger. An image rotation, of course, you know what that is. Flip horizontally, blah, 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 blah. Um, right there, you can rotate it. You can flip it. Boom. Um, layer, about everything you can do here, you can do using the M&Ms on over here. You know, I can unlock this, unlock it. I can go here. Um, let's move me. Uh, I can uh, duplicate layer. I can add, uh, throw away the layer, whatnot, transparency, all that kind of good stuff. I can make it hidden. Boom. Uh, the only thing I can see that you can probably have to do there, but you have a little plus sign here, is that you can add another layer. So empty layer, we can add another image, we can put a text in there, and that's where you put text or ipsum. And you should have a toolbar that comes up right up here that you can try, you know, you can use to change the type, color. and so forth. Size, settings, everything like that. If you use any kind of typing program, which I know you have, this should become second nature to you. It should be pretty quick, pretty easy. It's on a different layer, so if I tap here, I make it disappear as well. If I tap that back and I get a little check mark, I'm there. See that on the side over there? Look over there. Yeah, that's highlighted, right? That means you're on that layer. That's the only layer you're working on, all right? So I can move the sucker around, boom, 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 boom. I'm just working on that layer. It's not touching this at all. If I was on this layer, then I could touch that layer and, and manipulate that layer. Select, all right, you can select all, which is, uh, it selects the whole image, all right? And we should see some marching ants, hopefully but I don't see any. It should have selected all. You can deselect, inverse selection, uh, select pixels, you know, all that kind of stuff. You're just selecting what you want to cut in a clipping path. So if I got this here, right, and I have select that and I'm on the background. So you know by now, if I get the paint tool or whatever, I can color inside that box. But if I go to select and inverse selection, now it's select everything outside of that box. That box inside was selected. I inverse it. Everything outside is, is selected. So I can manipulate. Oh my goodness. Why did it not work? It went reverted. Weird. You can see everything inside the box. Let's go to Let's go back to select. Let's get my head out of the way first. Deselect, invert selection. So it should invert it. And I hate that it's going slow. Okay, now I got the paintbrush. Now, see, it doesn't go inside. I'm just manipulating all the stuff on the outside of it. <clears throat> That's a part of it. Not saying I got uh, 30 seconds. Wonderful. I wish it wasn't lagging. So, so I'm going to use up all the seconds that I can. Adjust. Well, you adjust colors, vibrance, brightness, and contrast, hue and saturation. We've talked about that a little bit already. So I got about 10 seconds. I'm going to let it run out again. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Look at the brightness. Look at the contrast. But I mess with them.